Cradle to Grave. Very one um, show, well done. This is this is stars um da- uh, doesn't star Danny Baker. It's about Danny Baker. It's based on the uh, two like, books. Based on his autobiographies, yes. and it stars Peter Kay as his father Spud and uh, a young actor, I believe a newcomer called Laurie Nyerston. Lucy, as, Lucy as, Speed as his Lucy mother. Lucy Speed of EastEnders as his mother Bet. Yes. There you go. Um, I I mean I'd seen this a couple of times on previews and stuff like that. I'd, I'd be interested to see what Gary thought because it's sort of is this your sort of area anyway? This well, this sort of area of London. It's, it's very close to where I where I live. Mm. Uh, and very similar, but of course I didn't grow up in the well, I grew up in the seventies, yeah. but I was very young. You know, I didn't live. You know, he was a teenager. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I I kind of apart from Danny Baker's voiceover, which started the first show and then morphed into his younger self. Uh, this is as far removed from being about Danny Baker as it is about being a jolly good sitcom. Mm. Um, his father is almost kind of like a Del Boy character. Yeah. Uh, you know, to the point where he sells useless information, sells his wife's washing machine to buy a freezer. Mm. Uh, Wheeler did. Did you notice um, Peter Dean from EastEnders? Peter Dean. Yeah, 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 I, yeah. I liked a bit of that. Um, and and I think unfortunately some people have been rather cruel about Peter Kay about his Cockney accent. Yeah, I mean I think he almost to me the fact that he can't do this accent spoils it a bit because it uh, makes I didn't him really care. like a cat. So yeah, I mean I, to me I found it all a bit sort of anecdotal and a bit you know there wasn't a sort of sort of solid narrative, especially in that first episode, it all felt like plucked from yes. different bits of his life rather than yes, a I think through the, line. The second episode which focused more on his uh was it the second episode this week or the third? I can't remember. Second. second. So this week featured more on Danny Baker's first outlets with alcohol. Mm. Uh and I think this ep- this second episode was stronger. But what mm. I think is because it's written by Danny Baker and uh Jeff Pope who wrote Silla yeah. And, Mrs. and, and for people that don't adult. know, Danny Baker was the main scriptwriter on things like uh, TFI Friday. Mm. So, and, and he's not his football stuff, doesn't he? On Five Live. Well, no, he doesn't. That's the, oh, right. <laughs> he does a very good entertainment stroke football show uh, on a Saturday morning on oh, Five okay. Live. He's a radio legend. It's me, really. and, it's me and football. Come on, yeah, okay. I don't good know. Point. Um, there will be but, an episode about him going to Millwall. You know there will. There's a sort of like disparity between the two because I think J- Danny Baker's trying to write this sort of comedic look back at his life, and Jeff Pope seems to be trying to write a more sort of, you know. P- portrait of adolescence in the 1970s and although the scene they're, they're very much focusing not only on Danny Baker but the parents and, and yeah. the siblings and things like that so there's a little bit of something for everybody and I think the relationship, the way Peter Kay comes across, it does very much remind you of Del Boy yeah. and, and I therefore just think he... and not, not only the character but the storylines and the things he gets into to much of where I could actually have closed my eyes with the caravan scene with them all going, oh, did you get this week from yeah. so-and-so and so-and-so? It, uh, just close your eyes and it was Del Boy. I it, think it not, I little, mean, that's, that's, yeah. that was... Del Boy was a depiction of what people were like in Peckham and the South East of that time. So it, it's not unrealistic. I just felt there was a bit of a disparity in tone in this. And also, mm-hmm. um, interestingly, they filmed it in Manchester because I think now in that area there's no not many places that look like that anymore. No, L- Bermondsey does not look yeah. like that anymore. But Manchester oh, still does. Say. Yeah. But I, I, you know, who, who really... Uh, so, the I'll, I'll just give you, just give you a real <laughs> clue there. It's not real. Uh, it's actually a television show, Matt, so they don't have to film it as it happened. Uh, Sorry. Well, not as it happened, uh, but, you know, the same area. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. <laughs> a lo- a lot of American sort of, shows are filmed in Vancouver. The, the same sort of part of the country, not, like, yeah. up north. 